Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Techfinic Knife from AndrewRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Saigema 10.1 M3 RAM for your Nexus 4 device. So as you can see, you got a lot of features. Um, one is including wallpapers. So you got wallpapers, CM wallpapers. So you got this one. <clears throat> You've probably seen a lot of these earlier. Um, so you got a lot of them. Loads of CM10 wallpapers. Some of these are specifically themed, so let's go and apply this one just for the heck of it. And there you go, you got CM10 wallpapers. You will also get uh, widgets, an Apollo widget. So that's their default uh, music player. So Apollo widgets and the Apollo app right there. So here's the widget right here. So if I go and play it, I can play it and tap on it. And here is the actual app of it. Um, so by default, it doesn't come installed uh, with um, what's it called uh, with Google Play Store. It comes default by uh, not. It doesn't come installed with Google Music by default. It comes with Apollo. So it's going to hop into settings and show you what uh, version we're running on and all that. About phone, tap on Cygenomod, you know you're on Cygenomod. Hold it down, you got all the Cygenomod little brothers and sisters <laughs> back out of that. You're running on, uh, you can see the Android version or Cygenomod version. Android version right there and model number right there, uh, Nexus 4. If you're going back out of that and go into interface, you can go into launcher, uh, home screen, and you can change the grid size to whatever we want. Currently we're running on 5x5. Five five. Home screen, you can change how many you want. So right now we have 7, so that's max. So you got 7 of these home screens. Which is awesome if you have a lot of apps and you don't constantly be going to app drawer or you have a lot of widgets. Um, you remove the search bar. I don't like the search bar. I think it's a waste of time. Um, just because you always have your Google Now. You know, you can easily access Google Now right there very, very easily. So now the um, search bar is gone. And let's see if you can resize that all the way up. So no, you can't move this up. It doesn't work. So it's just not showing, but you can't really add anything there. Let's see if we can add an app. No, we can't. Not really. Yeah, it just moves down. So let's go and move that back up. Let's go back in settings. And let's go into doc and see um, pages. You can add more pages. So you can add up to three. Let's add two. And default page is one. And now you have uh, two pages now. So you got one and two. So you can add apps right there. Add it right there. One and two now. Nice and easy. Very, very simple to do. Um, and just about anyone can do it. I'm um, just back out of that and go into lock screen. Um, you can do screen security if you want owner information. So let's say um, TF9, right? TF9 done. And let's go back out of that and it should save. Yes, it did save. So now it should show it on there. And there you go. So, so it shows TF9 right there on the screen. On just case, if you do lose it, uh, you can do delay lock screen for whatever seconds if you want. Let's back out of that. And you can change the default uh, background. So you can do a color fill if you want, custom image. It's going to open that up. Let's go back out of that. Um, you can do clock widget if you want. Um, you can also do maximize widget. So if you go and tap on that, um, you can go and if you hold it down, it's always going to be a full screen. And you can hold this down to unlock it. Very, very nice and very easily. Um, so if you like a Google Play Music or if you have this... Um, weather um, widget right here on the screen you can actually go ahead and easily um, have a full screen see all your weather all the um, temperature and all that and just hold it down to unlock it a lot easier and much more um, efficient if you go in here we can add more so currently there is browser phone music and messaging by default these are all default so if we go and change phone call let's change phone to applications um, camera let's add camera right there save it and I should have it and now we can go here Tap on it, and now when you have it, you have camera right there. Um, obviously, it isn't themed to the icons of the other ones, so it doesn't match as well. But if you if you obviously often use that app, uh, it's obviously worth the non-theme look of it, of course. Back out of that, and you got other widgets, sliders, uh, background. We all mentioned that. Um, themes, you have your basic themes that you can get more from the Play Store if you want. Basic, basic. Uh, and system. So status bar, show clock if you want. Remove it, no clock. Um, AM PM style, uh, battery uh, status style. So currently I'm on circle, but you can do a circle of percentage. So now there's a percentage in there, pretty small, but I got pretty bad eyes. <laughs> you can do an icon if you want. So this is the basic standard. Uh, you can do just percentage if you want. So we can leave it like that with the battery actually, it's there. Uh, brightness control, oh, brightness control. So if we go in here and now if we can, you can uh, change the brightness. So as you can see it's going dimmer and then brighter. So it's pretty nice, pretty cool. You can see in um, brightness right there, it did actually change to full, just about full. 
so that's nice. That's back under that um, expand desktop, so you can do um, uh, status bar visible. So when you go and hold this down, oh, hold down the power button, um, unlock it first, and hold it down. Expand disabled. Now your navigation bars are gone, but you can still show the status bar if you want, or you can uh, leave that hidden as well if you go and change the settings. Um, and you also have um, where is it? Pi control too. So enable pie control. Navigation key size. Let's do that size. Um, bottom screen border. Let's actually do right screen border. And now we go here. Let's go and expand desktop. And now you can actually use your um, pie controls right now. So you got recent, home, and back. And you also get your time and no service because I don't have a SIM card in there too. But you can obviously go and change it too. So it's very, very efficient. Let's go and disable that. So enable now there. So you do get pie control. That's probably one of the main features SiteGemini did add in this feature. Um, they actually got it from the another developer and uh, decided it's so good they should add it. Uh, you can also do quick launch shortcuts. So if you want to add more. So let's do um, Google Now right there. <laughs> Even though it's Google right there. <laughs> whatever and do kill app or let's do select application application and let's choose file manager save it and now when you go right here you got google now google now and file manager go on to that it opens your file manager very very easy simple and simple exit again let's go back back out of that and there i think we're done yes that is the basic look or actually pretty in-depth look i should use this about almost all the features from Sajama 10.1 M3 for your Nexus 4 device. Yeah! <laughs> um, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and sus consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as it does really, really help me out a lot. It shows me um, you want to see more of these videos, more ROM reviews for Nexus 4. I'm going to be doing app reviews. I always, I, actually, I already do app reviews. Um, I may consider starting uh, game reviews again. I um, might think about that. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. All links down below for social, ne social networks are down below. And links to the ROM is down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.